So we are back and we're about to cover the next 10 dinosaur bones with the lightweight joint compound. But first, I wanted to show you how much bigger they've got since the first 17 vertebrae that we made. So at first we could actually print one bone per print, but after a while as they get bigger we have to actually splice it up, slice it up. This one took eight different prints, which we then put together with the 3D printing pen. And then now I'm making sure that there's no weaknesses or big gaps or holes before we go to cover it with the joint compound gun. And that's coming up next. So this is one. And then we're looking for any kind of holes or weaknesses. This 3D pen is great. It works like a, almost like a spider web that you can control and it hardens very fast. So it, it, it's what I use to put together the pieces as well as fill any bigger gaps that we have. So there's still a lot of imperfections on these homemade bones, but again, we're not gonna sweat that too much because anywhere you see old dinosaur skeletons that have been fossilized over 65 million years, there's bound to be imperfections. So this is the final 3D print of eight sections to make one bone.
that's about it for today's episode. We've completed vertebrae up to 27, so about 13 more to go, and they do get bigger after this. And also we've done the front half of the head. Next episode, please join me. We'll finish up the other half of the skull and hopefully a bunch of more vertebrae. And we'll see you next time on Days Post-Apocalyptic World.